When the lay community thinks about radar, you're thinking about the radar scanning at the airport and you get this little blip on the screen. In actuality, we're able to get some very high resolution, high fidelity imagery um, using synthetic aperture radar. Synthetic aperture radar is a radar that moves on an aircraft and we keep very precise track of its position and orientation in time. And by doing that, we can get very high resolution SAR imagery. There's very powerful pieces within radar. Radar's got the advantages of all weather, day or night. You can see through things that visually we can't see through. And so there's all these powerful advantages. The other thing about radar is that it has a precise ability to measure range. So we get precise coordinates of where things are at. And so you have all this great value, but people have looked at it as some mysterious thing and we got to move into something that's practical and usable for them. And so that's one of the missions that we have in democratizing radar is to take all that away and make it such that anybody can pick that up and use it quickly. As I begin watching people interact with our product, I begin to realize that there was a lot more to radar than just the radar itself. I remember it was in the fall, I was on a hunting trip, and when you're hunting, you use different senses at different times. So sometimes it's really, you know, your sight, you're out looking for things. Other times you're listening. And what happens is your, your senses are cueing each other. It really dawned on me, all of a sudden I started thinking, wait a minute, it's not about just our sensor, it's about multiple sensors cueing and working together to really help those operators. And I thought about our customers and who we're working with and thinking we really need to look at their situation and what they're dealing with. I was on a demonstration and I watched operators sitting in the screen and I watched how over time they really become desensitized to the environment they were working in. And pretty soon they tuned out. Guy went on a break, a new guy came in and within a matter of seconds, he was tuned out. And so I really started thinking about having multiple sensors on an aircraft and how they all work together to cue an operator to what to look for, what to look at. So that really started us looking at how do we really make our system small so that it can be integrated on every platform. Ultimately, these platforms that are doing reconnaissance missions, you care about endurance. And so we looked at how do we get a very, very small form factor. And I remember going back to the engineers and we said, hey, we, we need to figure out what's the smallest radar we can build. And we began looking at all the different airframes we wanted to be on. And Puma was one of the smaller ones. And essentially, we, we came up with this little tiny box. And we gave it to the engineers and we said, okay, we want you to fit everything in this box. We ended up with what we call our Nanosar C. It's a little bit bigger, but it had all the capability in there we wanted and some more. And so today we build every single radar we have using this module, whether it's on Puma or whether it's on a King Air or anything in between. And we've even been able to go stratospheric with this radar. Early on, when we saw the power of what radar can do, we also saw there was a great need. We couldn't do what we're doing today without advancement in technology. We really stand on the shoulders of all of the innovations that have been going on in the tech world. And so we truly are you know, coming on a new era and generation of being able to build stuff that has this, this great capability. In the early years, SAR image formation was done optically. And we used to do it on the ground in great big servers, and now we're able to do it on board in these little pods in little tiny modules. And so just the advancement of technology moves all of this forward very quickly. Our forces are gonna have their hands full with coming conflicts. And so how can we create something that gives a small number much more capability? If we integrate radars the right way with other sensors, we can become that force multiplier and really make a huge difference in how these guys operate, increase their safety, increase their capability in, in moving our missions forward. I've had people ask me, what do you mean by democratizing radar? 
really our goal is to make something that is of such value that ultimately it will be found on almost every aircraft. And the fundamental pieces are there in place that we can do that. And so that, that's gonna be our focus for the next 10 years is to make that happen.